Your dad does. My family is the only family in California that doesn't like avocado. No wonder I'm adopted. <laughs> Hi guys, so we stopped for lunch here in Yucca Valley which is the town right before Joshua Tree. It's a little bit bigger of a town. It has more box stores. It has more um, like restaurants, chain restaurants. Um, it's just a little bit more of a town than Joshua Tree is. And we are here at the Kimi Grill, which has gotten really good reviews online. We looked up where to have lunch and this place actually came highly recommended. It is a Japanese and sushi restaurant, so I'm really excited because that's definitely one of my favorite things to have. Um, let me show you guys the decor and we will show you when we get the food. All right guys, so we're seated here inside a Kimi Grill and the patio is so cute. It's uh, got fake fake grass, well it's not really even grass, it's just green carpet to mimic grass. And there's paper lanterns and I bet at nighttime it's really nice because they have string lights and there's fake ivy on the trellis and the menu looks great and we are excited to eat so we'll see you when the food gets here. Tamago sushi, it's my favorite sushi. Tamago is sweet omelet. I love it. Okay, so I got the spicy tuna roll. Let's give this a try. It looks really good. Let me show you guys what it looks like. Ah, very good, thank you. Okay. Okay, let's dip it in a little soy sauce. Cheers. Mmm. Very good. It's not too spicy, but it definitely has that nice heat that I like. And the tuna is fresh. And the cucumber gives it that nice crunch combined with the softness and the stickiness of the rice. Spicy tuna rolls are definitely my favorite roll to have. Mm, very good. The tempura is incredibly light. The shrimp is very good. The veggies are Kambocha, sweet potato, onion, and asparagus. And each one was delicious. And the salad is, I'm pretty sure, peanut dressing. I highly re recommend you get a tempura. So the other roll I got is called the lemon roll. And it is a California roll, which has uh, crab salad, avocado, and cucumber. And then it's topped with salmon and a slice of lemon. Let me show you guys if I can show you how it looks. Okay, get a little soy sauce. That one's really good. The crab salad is sweet, and then the lemon adds a little bit of sourness to it. And I mean, of course, avocado makes everything better. <laughs> so we actually got a promotion here. If you spend $50, you get a, sp a free specialty roll, which is kind of cool. They do have quite a few options of specialty rolls, but because my mom doesn't eat avocado, we had to find one without avocado. So we got what was called the hungry roll. 
Let me show you guys the inside. This thing is giant. <laughs> Woo. I don't think I can eat the last one. So it does have sweet potato, asparagus tempura, shrimp temp, no, just asparagus. Spicy tuna. Spicy tuna. And then it has, it's wrapped in soy paper with some rice and some sauce. There's no way I think I can fit this in my mouth, so we're gonna deconstruct it and eat it that way. Let's do the sweet potato and the asparagus. And now for my dessert. Mmm. Sweet potato is really good. And the crunch of the asparagus is a nice addition. Mm. That's a really good roll. It's huge. Okay, guys, so final thoughts. I really enjoyed this place. We definitely ordered way too much food which normally wouldn't be a problem if we were going straight to the Airbnb, but we're actually going right to Joshua Tree for a couple of hours after this. So we can't bring any of the leftovers, which is kind of a bummer. Um, the sushi was very good. The rolls were fresh. Everything was made really well. There were big portions. Highly recommend only getting one roll for if you're here by yourself and not sharing. I ended up getting two and I just, I couldn't finish it. It was too much. Um, my mom really enjoyed her food and the patio atmosphere is really cute. I will say as of today, February 19th, 2021, they are not allowed to serve the food on regular plates or glasses. So everything comes in to go containers. This, the rolls came in to go containers, the drinks came in to go containers, the condiments came in to go containers. So just be wary of that if you're going to be here and that's something that you care about but overall I think it was a great little place to come and have lunch um, I believe they're closed Sunday and Monday right now but they are open for lunch and then they close for a couple hours and then they reopen it for dinner so I will make sure to leave their link below if you are in the Joshua Tree Yucca Valley area and you want to come check them out uh, we got way too much food but I managed to eat almost all of it quite delicious. I would highly recommend this place if you ever come to Joshua Tree. The end. I'm an adult. <laughs>